music, first of all, I've been promoting it for 40 plus years, so I just love the music. A big majority of the people that come to the shows pick some kind of instrument and they all like to get together and jam. And we have a lot of that going on at Myrtle Beach. This is the 45th year of this festival. So in the when you when you research the history of bluegrass music, that's a big chunk of the history of bluegrass music. So it's a as much a tradition as the Thanksgiving weekend is as far as the bluegrass community is concerned. I'm down here with my wife for a number of years every year we come and uh, enjoy the uh, the fellowship, like a big happy family down here, and uh, and all the wonderful talent that comes across the stage and back here in the jam rooms too. It really is. I think the closeness of the fellowship of this festival uh, among the people is is kind of unique. I mean, you, you get it everywhere, but it's just something special about uh, the convention center here. Everything's located real close, you know. I love it. I love it. Mr. Adams puts on one of the finest festivals in the country. He puts on several of them have some of the top bluegrass groups on the circuit today, some of the, the finest talent, you can't beat it. What I really like is uh, you see the younger generation, they're picking up the bluegrass and they're carrying it right on. And so luckily the, the, the tradition's not going to die. Bluegrass is um, all ages type of music, you know, you have um, little toddlers to real old people. <laughs> Um, just all playing and jamming around, so it's really a great family environment. Turn the jukebox way up loud, two chins more for crowd. 